I'm so conscious, Adam. I go, hi. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. As I said, I was like, I've, I've flown. Yeah, I've flown up the bottom. Massive. You're next, yeah? Pardon? You're next, yeah? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello and welcome to another edition of This Is Pico. Today I'm joined by Guy and Laura. Uh, Guy and Laura, would you like to introduce yourselves, please? <laughs> uh, yeah, hi, I'm Laura and I'm one of the graphic designers at Pico. And I'm Guy, I'm senior PCB layout engineer for, for Pico Technology. Great. So we've got a graphic designer and a PCB engineer, an internal recruiter, which sounds like a bad joke. Um, <laughs> but we're here because we've got a common um, Sort of group, uh, which is the SSC at Pico. Um, Guy, what, what is the SSC? Uh, so the SSC stands for Sports and Social Committee. Um, we're lucky enough at Pico that they provide a budget for all the staff and um, we organise great events for staff um, to basically keep morale going, good team bonding. Yeah, that's Excellent. what the SSC is all about. So um, obviously we do great work very hard work at Pico. Um, but the SSC is really important to everybody. Laura, why do you think the SSC is important to, to Pico and the employees? It just makes it more than just a job. Um, and it really helps build relationships with colleagues, which if you've been out socialising with someone outside of work, it just makes it so much more easier to interact with people inside of work. It does, yes, indeed. Um, I think you're right. It, 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 breaks down boundaries between different departments. Um, we've got a couple of sites, so seeing people mixing from, from all across Pico is, is a really good thing. Um, so we talked about doing events. What sort of events have we held then? Oh, um, we've held all sorts, really. There's not much we haven't held now, is there really? <laughs> so uh, we've done go-karting, quad biking, paintballing, archery, um, the local, um, it's a wipeout in the in the lake, which is always a good giggle. That was a good one. Um, but also low key events as well. So meals out, we've had um, a couple of big ones a year. What are the large ones we have each year? We have the Christmas party, which Laura you're great for. So that's my favourite. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, and we also do like a summer event uh, where we have families come and join us. Um, that we put on things like food, bouncy castles. Um, just generally get that family feel at Pico going. Awesome. Right. So you talk about all those events, um, core biking, archery, uh, we don't have facilities to do that sort of thing at, at Pico. Are all the events off-site or do we do anything on-site, Laura? We do quite a lot of on-site events as well. Um, we do a lot of food vans, yeah. which go down very well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's, there's something about Pico and food that just goes hand in hand. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> um, so yeah, we get in the car park, uh, food vans pull up, we all go out, have lunch together, and it's really nice, especially in the summer months, everyone's outside socialising, eating, and Enjoying yeah, it, it works very well. Yeah. Awesome. They it's, say there's no such thing as a it's great, free lunch. It's, it's great for new starters as well. It really pulls them in, get them talking to their, not only the rest of the wider team, but their own team as well, gives them a bit of confidence. So, yeah, yeah they're great events they are. Cool. Um, what about favourite events that you've, you've had? So, Go, what's been your favourite event that we've, we've oh. held? It's hard because it's been going for more than 20 years, this SSC, but um, I, I quite like the more adventurous stuff, so I, I like the paintballing, quad biking. Um, we've even been down to London, actually, um, to do theatre trips. They were always quite nice as well. Um, you end up you know, doing bits with your colleagues while you're out there as well, so it's nice, nice to visit there. Awesome. What about you, Laura? I really like quad biking. Um, it's something that I never would have done had Pico not put it on. Um, I think that happens quite a lot. I, you turn up to these events um, and you end up really enjoying something that you may not have thought about. So, so the SSC, it's, it's a group of people. Um, all time. How, how do you go about organising events, deciding what events to do? Is there one person always organises it? What happens? We work as a team, don't we? Yeah, indeed, we do. So, um, so the committee as a whole get together once, every other month maybe more sometimes yeah. depending on what's going on Indeed. just a bit of um brainstorming mm. at different events we'll look locally and, and slightly further mm -hmm. to decide um throughout the year sort of different events to accommodate different people different age groups um 
you know, not all as adventurous as others because not everyone's keen for them sorts of events. Um, we also have, for the Manchester office, we have a representative there mm -hmm. and they try mm -hmm. to pick similar events to what we're doing. So that team also feels included as part of the, the sort of SSC mm -hmm. um, plans yeah. as such. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that works really well. Um, we do take feedback from staff as well. If everyone, anyone's got any ideas, they know that they can come to any one of us. Yeah and say, hey, there's this new thing, let's try it. And and yeah, I think the way the world's been as well uh, over the last couple of years, we've done virtual events that's gone down really well. Oh, that's true, we, we did yeah. a few virtual events. So yeah. Yeah. What virtual events um, took place? So I think probably my favourite one was actually the cocktail making, which was really, really, <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, some lovely cocktails. They sent all the ingredients out to us and, and then we had... Um, a couple of, uh, I don't know the right word for a cocktail. Mixologist. Maker. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Teaching us how to, to shake them up, which was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What was your favourite, I guess, virtual event that we did? We did a, quite a few pub quizzes online. We did, and yeah. They, they were a lifesaver, just being able to look forward to something like that yeah. over lockdown. Um, I think for me, uh, we, the comedy night we did where we had yeah. number of, of comedies and comedians including it's a pretty big name comedians giving mm. a sort of personal show uh with something that was really really cool as well um and something you touched on guy about having that variety of events is really good because not everybody wants to do the quad biking so you think of things like um the haunted tour of cambridge we've done yes, or yeah. escape rooms um trips to, to science museums that sort of thing it's um it's really good because we see different people coming to, to different sorts of events yeah uh, you mentioned a little bit earlier about the bigger events, summer Christmas parties. Uh, mm. How have they gone down? What sort of things have been, been included in Motor? Oh, very well, yeah. Um, Christmas one is always my favourite because who doesn't love Christmas? Um, and we yeah, always have a big three course meal, sometimes followed by a disco or a band. Um, Various different events in the area, sorry, different venues in the area as well, mm. um, which has been nice. So mm. um, they've all been fairly local to. to in it but yeah. Um, yeah yeah sometimes we'll do it in a hotel and it'll be something that's pre-arranged or sometimes we'll just rent a big hall out um, and do everything ourselves and decorate it ourselves yeah. and it's always nice to get stuck in and be creative with that and yeah team uh, work very hard together with them sort of thing yeah i mean back at christmas do <clears throat> did ourselves um took a lot of a lot of work and uh but what's your been your favorite events to to organize it, I think it is the Christmas one. As hard as it is, it's a, it's a lot of work, but it is my favourite. I think you see the biggest reward mm. from doing it. Yeah, That's a big build-up as well. Several months of planning go into that, mm. so to see everyone happy on the night, it's uh, yeah, that's a nice achievement feel, doesn't it? And do you get feedback from rest of the employees? What so, and what sort of feedback do you get? Um, so it's mainly very positive, which is great for yeah. the committee. Um, we have had feedback on different events, what's worked well for them, what they'd quite like to do again. So now and again, we will repeat events, particularly if people can't make the time and date of events. It's nice for them to have another chance of joining us at a different, different point in time. Um, particularly, um, I say the summer event uh, where we have several different activities going on. Um, it could be remote control cars or something virtually on, on the PlayStation. Um, and each year, climbing walls and um, rocking broncos, stuff like that, each year they might decide what they quite like. Um, so to the following year, to try and match an activity that is popular at them events is, is mm. useful. And where are those summer events held? Um, so they have been held actually at Pico um, HQ in St Neitz. Mm -hmm. um, in we've got like a garden area and a, and a car park area. Um, we tend to keep them local because family members join in. It's quite nice for young family members to see where their parents uh, work in the office, yeah. get shown around a little bit. Um, that's that's generally where the summer events have been very local to us. Um, really nice to meet people's families as well because you hear about them so often in the office. It's yeah, nice to put a face to a name and see everyone's kids. And yeah, mm, absolutely. Well, you know, Pico family always does come first, so it, so it is nice to see you know, people's families coming in and mixing together and little friendships being formed. So, so that's yeah. really good. Um, what about the future of SSC? Any events that you really want to do that we just haven't done yet? Oh, that's, that, that is always a, a difficult one because mm. we have managed to do so many different events um, over the years. 
Um, I'd quite like, it's been a little while since we've done anything sort of lake related, so I'd like to go back wakeboard and something like that. Oh, that'd um, be fun. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Indeed, that'll be, it's a good, good laugh. Yes. So. I like the sound of theatre trips and stuff as well, but it's something I'd like to do more of. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thank you both for your parts of being the SSC and, and the rest of the SSC. Um, they, they all work you know, pretty hard behind the scenes to, to make those events happen. Um, but, Guy, Laura, thanks for uh, coming today and telling us more about the uh, Sports and Social Committee. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael.